All right, let's hope these guards don't notice me. They, Deadly Feast stealth ability only works on ourselves. Otherwise, we could pretty much go anywhere. Halt. Are you travelers? You could say that, yes. We came here from the Gram. Would it be possible for us to enter the city? What, on foot? Not every day we see guys like you. Why didn't you just use the train? <laughs> Much as we would have liked to, the wait for the next one was simply too long. Thanks to the new regulations, there are hardly any trains running anymore. We found it was actually faster to come by foot. Hmm. Well, if you say so. You can enter, but we're going to need to check if any of you are on our wanted list first. Emma, can you use any special, uh, uh, special mind control magic or anything like that? We still have reason to believe that there are people out there plotting against the Noble Alliance. We can't be too careful. Let's see, where's that list? Emma, use your magic. This isn't good. Come on. Emma. Yes. I know. Um, excuse me. Could I ask you to look into my eyes for a moment, please? These are not the students you're looking for. Huh? That's an odd request. <laughs> what the? Huh? We're just common travelers, and we aren't on that list of yours. Which means we can pass, right? Hmm. Why are you still standing there? Go along inside. Just don't go causing any trouble, unless you want to find yourselves arrested. That's how they act towards normal travelers. Yeah. They're as uh, uh. hospitable as always. <laughs> Thank you very much. Shall we be going? Yeah. Artisan Street. Give me some nice stuff we can buy if only we had enough money. We have to go out and grind a bit. Maybe try to <laughs> try to recipe farm. Ooh, I'm surprised at how well that went. Yeah, feels like it was almost too easy. Then again, I remember seeing Vita do something similar a while back. What was that? What was that? It was a form of hypnosis. I'm just glad I was able to pull it off. That's one way of reminding us that you really are a witch. <laughs> I was surprised at all the tricks she showed me too. Uh, it's nothing fancy actually. It's certainly nothing compared to Vita's lullabies. For one thing, you can't use it on too many people at once. The more you use it, the more likely they're going to catch on and be on guard for it. Don't rely on it too much. Well, Gus and the Berea hard. That's good enough for me. Thanks a lot, Emma. I doubt we would have gotten this far without you. We should start looking for Usus. Right. And we got a bunch of missables. <clears throat> Family Mansion. Looks more like a palace or something on the inside of it. Huh. Duke Alberea. He was the Noble Alliance's advantage in this war remains overwhelming as always. Uh, even before the war started, he, he already tried to kidnap Machias. Rufus has achieved much <clears throat> in his position as Chief of Staff as well. But the fact remains that 
Fu Kaiyan is still the one with the most influence and power. Something must be done about this. But what? How? So that was your line of thinking when you sent those Jaegers to Ymir, was it? You moved to take Princess Alfin into your custody and use her to replace Duke Kayen as Supreme Commander of the Alliance. Do you have something you want to say to me, Eusis? You seem very unhappy about the fact I sent him to the hometown of one of your classmates. Not at all, Father. However, I do believe my brother also expressed disapproval of those actions. I humbly ask that you think twice before interfering with any neutral powers in the future. And I would suggest you think twice before involving yourself in matters that are of no concern to you. Focus on the work you have been given and leave me to do mine. I apologize for speaking out of turn. I must think of something that will allow me to seize his position. I can't allow that pompous halfwit to call himself the Alliance's Supreme Commander for a moment longer. Hmm, I may need to reconsider how Rufus should be acting in his position as well. Hey, Eusis, just kick him out the window or something. No, Dolores is she? Can we actually go back? No. If we do, those soldiers will just get unhypnotized and try to kill us all. Uh, any decent clothes? Oh, and agility increase. Or, or evasion will increase with this one. Is it worth it though? Who's ATS based and has a huge defense boost, but uh, I don't know. Maybe the evasion would be better for. If I have if we use this, Reen will be able to get 100% evasion. Our sandals is a speed boost, but yeah, it's gonna eat into my defense. But speed means more chance of AT delay. And plus, Laura's already d doing pretty bad in terms of speed anyways. Pattern shirt for more evasion. Let's see. I don't think it's worth putting any more evasion on B and and Sharon. So I think it just having it on Reen will be enough. Even if it does turn him into total glass cannon, at least he can evade decently now. Maybe I should put one on Elisa as well, since she doesn't, since her, <coughs> since she doesn't get to target herself in sight with her craft. Of course, that means uh, he'll pro uh, that means Rena's now told glass cannon. Not sure if this is a, such a good idea. Gorgeous gown would be j better just for plain old defense and ATS. I don't want to go too crazy. There's still accessories to look at it too. That's pretty much your job, yeah. Ugh. The Hector's an event at the jewelers? Anyways, let's see if there's any new courts we can make right now. Master courts? No. Nothing new here.
I mean, I don't see anything new in here. I don't think there's a trade shop e in the city either. Ah, this guy's a hoarder. A hoarder and a noble, huh? <sighs> Alright, don't forget to buy the Gambler J Jack reprints here. And that's, I think directly outside is an NPC who will give me the sequel book. Let's see. Be an NPC named Saffron. Could that be you? No. You two are. I think that they did give me a book in the last game, but in this game, uh, it's gonna be a little tougher. You. I've been in a reading mood lately, so I purchased a book to sate that desire. Unfortunately, I've had so much work to take care of that I haven't even had the chance to start reading it. I hate for it to just sit there and collect dust, so I'll give it to you folks instead. The book will be much happier with you. Okay, that takes care of that. Um, there's supposed to be a restaurant around here. Wrong place, and I don't want to fuck with those guards. Um, there we go. Okay, so... Talk to... S oh, not you. Not you. You? No. You! I've been working on some pancakes to add to our menu recently. Giving them soft, warm texture is kind of tricky, though. Here, how about you guys give it a shot? Uh, Misty's kind of the reason why all these nobles are going ape shit right now, anyways. Oh, you're Lord Eustace's classmates. Oh, Hammond, it's been a while. Will you happen to know where Eustace is, sir? As his uncle, we figured that you of all people would have some sort of clue. Oh, I know he's back in Breahard and staying at the Alberia mansion. That's as far as my knowledge extends, unfortunately. Hmm, might be worth ha having a look around the mansion to see if we find anything. Hmm, perhaps we should focus on getting more information for the time being, then. <coughs> I can't find anything from him. Alright. The recipe fluffy pancakes. Oh, wow. I, I better look up the recipe list. There's so many people who are good at this. Recipe list. Fluffy pancake. Emma should be the one to cook this. <laughs> sure, I'd love to. I really hope you'll like. <laughs> okay, Sharon uh, should be able to give us the okay version. This is some of my fun. Yes. And B for the worst power. version. You can try eating it if you want. Iron pancake. All right. Whoa. What? I actually pressed the wrong buttons. Shoot. Let's see. What's what else is on the checklist? There's some quests I can do. Well, I, could, I should probably talk to the other students first. Let's go to Artisan Street. Here, here. Yep. 
see. Oh man, look how expensive some of this stuff is. This evergreen is really OP, but ugh. So expensive. All the others in comparison are much cheaper, but still pretty expensive in their own way. <clears throat> I already have a, a lot of red pendulums. See, I need blue and yellow. Dark Pendulum could also be useful. Uh, if only I wasn't dirt poor. Can I have some spare monster parts? Even that won't amount to much. Buying one of each will already eat into my pocket quite a bit. The thing is, if I don't buy them now, I might not get an opportunity to do so later. I, I have no choice but to use U materials to make them, so it might be easier to just get them now than to spend U material later. Alright, time to get reacquainted with another classmate. Guess I should head back now. Is that you, Colette? Green? Oh, Emma, Laura, I didn't even know you were in Berea hard. <laughs> we arrived not long ago, actually. <clears throat> I'm pleased to see you're doing well. Why have I asked why you're dressed like that? I heard you had escaped, but... Yup, wasn't planning on it, actually, but I caught, got cut up in the moment. I decided to take up a part-time job once I got here. Can't ever go wrong with some spare change, am I right? Pretty impressive mindset you've got. Aren't all the students from Forza on the Noble Alliance's wanted list? It's not a big deal here. You're fine as long as you don't stir up trouble. All the people on the street are super sweet too, so that helps. I don't know. They might be letting you. Uh, they might want you let your guard down so they can take you hostage later. I mean, I'm kind of surprised at how quickly I got used to this place. Well, as long as you're all right. Might as well ask not where we found you too. Green asked Kalev if she knew anything about Yusus. Hmm. There's been some rumors spreading about him lately, I guess. What kind of rumors? Not very pleasant ones. Apparently he came back home not that long ago. And he's been helping the Duke ever since, or so they say. I see. What's he helping out with exactly? Well, stuff like how he's been helping command the provincial army in town. Really? It's hardly surprising when we take his position into account, I'm afraid. What was far and brother are focused on more in the war than keeping the region itself safe? Rusty has taken it upon himself to handle that in their stead. Doing what he can for his region is not out of character for him. Probably best off asking him about everything face to face. If only we could figure out how to get in touch with him. Looks like you're, you've all got your work cut out for you, huh? But don't give up. I should be heading back to the inn, so I'll catch you guys later. Stop by if you need anything, okay? Thanks, Colette. So I guess we should start asking elsewhere. Yeah, let's go. Uh Okay, the, the other person's in Christie's Corellia. Let's... Here. Why does father have to be so hard-headed? The least he could do is actually conserve things from my perspective. Please be safe, Emily. I'm guessing her far as part of the Noble Alliance or something. I don't know. Aricia, you're here! Elisa, oh, Idios, it is you! What are you doing here? You've even got some of your classmates with you. It's been a while, Faricia. Good to see you're doing okay. Likewise. I was so worried about you all, but it looks like I didn't have been. I couldn't have be any happier for you, Elisa. And I couldn't be any happier knowing you're safe. 
Being here does remind me that you mentioned being from Berea Hard, though. Do you end up getting separated from the artists you escaped with? That's right, things were pretty hectic at the time, so... I have no idea what happened to Emily and Ferris, unfortunately. I see. The floral household's very well known, but Ferris will probably be okay. But still, I'm sure it must have been a relief to come home, at least. I can only imagine how worried your family must have been, too. Well, you could say that. The war's as good as when the eyes of most nobles. My family's no exception. In fact, they're enjoying life more than ever right about now. Perhaps that much is to be expected from those in Berea Hard. It is widely known that the Noble Alliance is currently dominating. Barry keeps trying to appease me by taking me to fancy restaurants and the like, but... The fact that he doesn't understand how I feel makes it painful to even talk to him. That's why I end up excusing myself. Uh, childish of me, isn't it? <clears throat> Not at all. I understand exactly how you feel. I was the same back when I had no idea what was going on with everyone else. Speaking of which, you wouldn't have to have any info, info about Eusis, would you? No, I'm afraid not. I know he's back in Berea Hard, but you probably know that much already. Sorry for not being able to help. Hmm. Not at all. There's no need to feel guilty. I think I'll head back to the restaurant after all. I might be able to get some information for you through my forest connections. Sorry for making you go your way. We do appreciate it, though. Just try not to expect too much. We'll probably end up arguing again. I have to admit that I'm a bit jealous of you all. Not everyone has the freedom to do what they want right now, me included. That's why I'd like for you all to do everything you can for now in our stead. Also, if you happen to come across Emily or anyone else from Forest, please help them. Of course, that was our intent from the beginning. In turn, we'd like for you not to be so hard on yourself. Hey, thanks. I'll see you all again soon, I hope. And I guess you can't shove all nobles under the same la label, can you? I'm a bit disappointed you're only realizing that now. Anyway, we should continue searching for clues elsewhere. Right. Okay, now that I've got these two... I have to work on a hidden quest in the central plaza. I'm gonna save first because I know this game is not very stable right now. Okay, go to Brea Hard Central Plaza. Let's see. Go downstairs to the waterway. I mean, is there a fishing spot anywhere around here? Guess not. Oh, Bootsy, where could you have gone? You youngsters wouldn't happen to know where my little Bootsy went, would you? <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? Oh, forgive me, I'm getting ahead of myself. Bootsy is my kitten. He went missing this morning, as you can imagine. I've been awfully worried about him. And you've been searching for him ever since? As much as I wish to help her, I think we should try to avoid doing anything that will make us stand out. What do you think, Green? Hmm. Offer to help. Well, uh, we could help you search for him if you'd like. Oh goodness, how kind of you. The only issue is that I have no clues whatsoever, I'm afraid. We were in the Noble District at the time, but he disappeared while I was nodding off. I never saw which way he went. If he followed the path out of the district, he would have ended up in the central plaza, but... <coughs> so we're not entirely sure where to start then. Finding him may prove to be rather difficult. Yeah, it's not like we understand how a cat's mind works either. Or do we? Don't you even dare! Well, you do seem like you'd have an idea or two. <coughs> Seriously now? You're comparing me to your run-the-mill cat? Ugh, humans! Haha. <laughs> You're very worried about him as well, though, aren't you? With your help, I'm certain we'll be able to find him. Fine, fine. One thing I can say for sure is that kittens are always moved by their curiosity. 
Probably too young to be especially cautious too. Don't be surprised if he's left a trail for us to follow. I'm expecting to do all the work here, by the way. Think about what you'd do if you were a kitten. Right, time to allow my inner cat and get started then. We'll start our search around here, ma'am, and we'll be sure to tell you right away if we find him. Thank you so much. Alright. Where to start? First I have to talk to Hassan. Um... I think I remember these two. They made us do some stupid fetch quest involving salt or something. Oh, I just can't wait to see how long the Imperial Army will entertain us for. Indeed, ideally they'll do their best at making our little bet all the more exciting. Woof woof, girl, woof woof woof. Hold on, Richard. Goodness, he's been on edge ever since that filthy kitten dared to approach us. Ah, uh, leave him be for now. Perhaps he simply wishes to experience the thrill of the hunt once again. We can't exactly blame him after seeing such an unsightly thing. <coughs> Bootsy must have come by here at some point. Just how do these two manage to be so annoying? Well, I can't entirely disagree. Gotta say, I feel bad for Bootsy. I'm sure he was terrified after being barked at. It's not common for kittens to run off in situations like that, only to end up not being able to find their way home. Curiosity killed the cat and all that. Right. He's barking towards the south, so I assume that's where the kitten went. Let's hurry up and find him. Right. Now, Artisan Street. Um... Let's see... Near the end. Ah! He, he's so cute. Wait, I'm still on the clock! I'll never hear the end of it I get caught in Lala Land. Sorry for asking out of nowhere, but did a kitten just come by here? Damn, how do you know? You're right, though. It came here looking all hungry, so I gave it some milk and leftovers. It was all over, after, over me after that. I guess he calmed down after a nice treat. Chances are he'll be trying to get to Eva now. Which means he should be returning to the Noble District. Think he'll be able to find his way back? We should probably check, just to be sure. Okay. Back to Station... Okay, now I'm in Station Street. Nickin was the most adorable thing I've ever laid eyes on. Hey, I don't think anyone could ignore that innocent little expression it had. Oh, they're from St. Estrella. They might know where the kitten went. Let's ask them. Indeed. Sorry to intrude, but we haven't to overhear a conversation just now. Can you tell us more about where that kitten went? We're actually searching for him on behalf of his owner. Oh, is that so? He was here a moment ago until he got frightened away by a passing car. He ran off north after that, so he was so cute too. Oh dear, he may have wandered out onto the highway if he went that way. We should hurry, otherwise he could come under attack by monsters. But I talk about a pain. The highway's dangerous for us too, but we can't let just abandon him. Let's go. Uh. Don't mind me. What's up ahead? I can do this. Or save. These battles have a tendency to crash me. My turn. Uh, want to turn your back? Ha! Advantages are my turn. All right. Week Eliminating two. targets. My turn. All right. Go with me. With pleasure. How about this? How about this? Down. Overkill. 
And I got Scouter because I had Dragon Vision on her. Oh wow, there's a really nasty looking plant there. A Venus Man Trap. I don't think I can stun it. Very well. What a fearsome opponent. Do take care. Yeah, it's a fearsome opponent. It's <laughs> never going to be stunned. Got it. Okay. Okay, this could be bad. Well, it's Cyclone just, in, just to see if I can delay it. Oh, yeah. Nope. I did seal it. That's a start. Here I go. All right. With pleasure. Let's see. Should be close enough for me to use Binding Chains. Shadow Stitch will allow me this to decrease its speed. Yes. I can do this. Raj Arrow. Here's them. Raj Arrow. Your speed is advantage. I should be able to use Bullet Cyclone and hopefully delay it. And death. Yes. Now! Yes! Dragon Division still works if, if it was that uh, assist attack. Are you hurt, Master Reed? N no, I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, if it was done from an assist attack, yeah. That works out for me nicely. Huh? Thank goodness! Yes. This will hopefully make it easier to get group scans. Anyways, I need to climb this hill. Real quick. More you material. They forgot to dash in the text box for some reason. That's pretty much every monster in the highway. Ah! Ooh, that was close. Damn it, why didn't you use your long range attack? Chest. Or you should contain Petrify, normal version, of course. They're not gonna give us any good freebies anymore, are they? It was the cat should be down here. <laughs> we finally found him. He must have been too scared to cross the bridge. Be okay, quite fortunate for us, really. The provincial army unit stationed past here would have made catching him impossible. Thank the gods for small favors. It's also a fishing spot, so I may have to return here later. Let's take him back to Eva. Get yeah, move on, small fry. I, mean, I can't wait to see a look on Eva's face. Oh, Bootsy, I'm so glad you're safe. Ooh, that was a doozy. He moves fast for having such tiny legs. I still have to question why he would run when you two seem to be so close. Oh, I asked him about that, actually. Just some scary-looking vehicle took him by surprise. I'll bet if any vehicle could scare the little guy, it'd be one of the provincial armies. That's so. I never even realized. That's not gonna fly, I'm afraid. You really need to pay more attention. You haven't even put a collar with a bell on them, either. Just like you don't realize, even realize that. Oops. Meow? Dang it, Celine. Eh, oh, well, how do I explain this? Celine. Oh, don't give me that. I got caught in a moment. Oh my. I must be going to see now already. I could just sore in your cat was talking just then. Silly me. Well, let's be more careful from now on, Bootsy. That was way too close. Please, take this as a token of my thanks. Does my cape. 
You sure you want to give us something so expensive looking? <clears throat> Lucy's my only family at this point. He's much more important than any trinket. We hope you'll come visit us again someday. May by then, maybe Ray Hart will be back to his former self. In the heavens, we'll be sure to take you up on that offer. There, there. I'm glad we managed to finally find you. I'm impressed at just how well Celine guided us to him. And maybe she had a similar experience in the past? Excuse me? I knew you were a fig, but how would you ever come to that conclusion? Yikes, sorry. Attack your ankles! Eh, <laughs> we're best staying away from that topic. <clears throat> At least it seems like she's talking to them. We are also just imagining things. By the way, I can't actually get to the... I can't actually get to the fishing spot yet because... Because uh, 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 if I do, the list will remind me about all the provincial army soldiers up ahead who will block my way. Oh, aren't you the per performer we came across in Keldic? Andre, correct? Oh, how depressing the people of this city are. That their happiness is obtained through transient means. What's worse, the meaningless fighting has corrupted their minds, and now they refuse to lend ears to my music. Tell me, friends, is there anywhere my love is needed, perchance? He seems to be doing just fine. Alright. Oh, where shall we do? My prayers won't even reach St. Veronica's spirit. This seems pretty serious. Excuse me, is something the matter? Oh, do you ever hear me just now? Forgive me. Have you seen the statue of St. Veronica in the plaza recently? Well, it's actually been shedding black tears ever since this war broke out. Black tears? Really? That would make for a good urban legend. Yes, I've confirmed it for myself, even. It's just as the legend spoke of. I think Veronica's prayers once saved the people from great tragedy. When the crisis befalls the world, she shall cry tears black as night. That's how it went, correct? See, I, always, I certainly never expected to have the opportunity to witness the legend for myself. Words of the statue, where the statue's tears have especially spread among those of deep faith. We've been holding mass to calm those concerned by this war, but end up only making things worse. You can only imagine how frustrating that must be. Unfortunately, if she truly is truly lamenting over the war, not much can be done until it ends. How do we know this is the real deal, though? It could just be someone pulling her leg. I think it's a bit too hasty to presume the, that greater forces are at work here. Have you gotten a professional to carry a, a furrow check? Well, no, with the war and all, no one's been able to come out. I see. Hmm, is there nothing we can do for her? We need to avoid attracting too much of his own attention, remember? Although, I'm sure we'll be fine if we're just confirming whether or not this was the work of someone non-supernatural. Do you offer to help, then? Yes. Well, if no one else is available, would you be okay with us carrying out a quick investigation? <laughs> oh, are you sure? We're no professionals, so we can't make any promises, but we should be able to find out whether or not this really is a prank of some sort, I think. Oh goodness, thank you so much. Clarifying that alone should help everyone to relax. You'll find St. Veronica's statue just outside of the cathedral. Thank you once again for offering the help. Not at all. We'll get started at once. Alright, now I have to examine this statue. Yeah, there really are black tears. It's kind of creepy looking. Oh, wow. These really are black tears. I can understand why this would have some of the people feeling uneasy. May your spirit know peace, St. Veronica. Though you must wanna, might want to quit jumping to conclusions, you know. This is a lot less dramatic than what you're all thinking. Celine? The nice and the worst, there's no spiritual presence here whatsoever. That alone would be enough to assume that greater forces are at work here, but... There's further evidence in the other black stains scattered around the statue. Could it be a sewage issue? Oh, you're right. How'd they get there, though? Turns are this statue is made from marble. 
and memory serves, Instructor Makarov taught us that marble gradually melts away when contact with acidic water. Hmm, then this might, then we might assume that the fountain's water, or, or fountain water's properties were altered recently. The fa this fountain draws us water from the underground waterway, correct? We may find a source to the issue down there. The entrance is over by a street in the front of the station. Let's go check it out. <sighs> All right, time to do this underground war away. This brings back memories of when we snuck through here to rescue Machias. I also remember you unlocking the door for us, Emma. I did. Allow me to do so again. That was easy enough. Technically, she shouldn't be showing it off in front of others, but what can you do? We already know about her magic, so might as well. Uh, regardless, we should go in. Yeah, just remember that I can get pretty dangerous in here. I see a few monsters here and there, but things seem relatively fine to me. Yeah, it's as pretty as ever, really. Mm. Wait, what's that smell? I smell too. It's faint but pungent. Perhaps there is something down here. We should remain guard then. Time to find out what's waiting for us. Pretty sure these things have high defense. The Here I go. One down. Gotcha. Yeah, My Elisa's turn. not gonna be able to do any damage to him. Here I, go. With pleasure. I should have buffed first. Oh well. No. Got you. I can do this. Hold on. I think you have a magic based craft. Mirage arrow. Here's them. Mirage arrow. Yes, that worked nicely. I'll handle it. So I want to have Sharon Here finish it off just so I can get scanned easy, cheaply. May I? Are there any other monsters down here, or just drones? Remember there used to be at least some variety of monsters the last time I was here. Open green pendulum. All right, keep going. Okay, the mo quest monster is right there, but there's what else is am I looking at here? Ah, uh, it's just guarding a chest right like just like that. Uh, please do not corner me. Oh crap. Enemy sighted. Let's My turn. Yeah, that didn't go well. Okay, give me the, the, the contents real this time. One more drone, and then I can finally get to the boss. Alright, let's give this a shot. Another giant version of a weak enemy, along with its smaller friends. What's this doing under the city? 
surrounded by a snake gases too. There's no doubt this, is, this monster is the cause. Something's odd though. I don't know why, but the higher elements are in effect around it. Be careful, everyone. Did someone become a cryptid? We'll have to exterminate it now that we found it. Get ready, everyone. We're going in. Right. Be on guard, everyone. Very well. Ugh. How many people can I get with this? This won't take long. Shadow, sit. Our chat. Got you. Whoa. Okay. All right, let's Motivation. I can do this. What? Heavenly gift. Of course. Dark matter. Oh boy. How not? Our chance. Very well. Finding chains. Now. Let's move. True arc slash. Now's our chance. Now's our chance. Okay, might want to move the two of you farther back. Holy crap. Uh, or should I keep going? Let's see. Actually, Mirage Arrow should be able to finish them off. This one's moving next. Hmm. Arc is activate. Dark matter. Let's move. Ah, no choice but to impede this. There. Ha! Now's our chance. Let's go, everyone. I've caught this day. Okay, dark matter. Ugh. May I? Yeah, it's gonna get. How about this? Please, AT delay. Yes. Speed up. My turn. All right. Motivate. It's my turn. Analyzing the enemy's vital. 
Penalized. All right. With pleasure. How about this? One more AT delay, please. Yes. Our chance. Our chance. Yes. No problem. Speed up. Now his AT delay should have a good chance as well. Now's our chance. Here I go. Alright. Dark matter some more. Or heavenly gift. Very well. Please, more AT oh, delay. Our chance. Now. Whoa, ten thousand. Here I go. Strange, it's not casting anything. Motivation. I can do this. Dark matter. Activate with pleasure. The slow speed up, so I should try binding chains. Now. Or dark matter. Uh -huh. Ow. No, my step if. Oh well. The next one should finish it off. Dead. Detector Beta balance down and then also and also lowers the defense and arts defense. Uh, I'm so glad. Done. <laughs> I've only just begun. There's also supposed to be a black records here, but. This is only a new game playthrough, not new game plus. Uh, phew, looks like we pulled through relatively unscathed. Hey, solved, I guess. The statue shouldn't shed any tears now that the water is back to normal. Indeed. I find myself perplexed by the monster's strike, however, if we're a class or standard one. Not to mention the fact that the higher elements were in effect. Maybe a loss of balance here in Arabonia caused it to transform somehow? Oh, well, that's the same reason those cryptids started appearing too, isn't it? Wait a minute. We must be thinking the same thing. If that's the case, then the legends behind St. Veronica's tears can't be entirely false, correct? Yeah, that's kind of spooky. At least we figured out what's going on, though. Wait. The case may be solved, but the mystery still remains. Perhaps it's for the best we leave it that way. Okay, guys, let's report back. So this is all caused by a monster? Yeah, its presence was having adverse effects on the wa fountain's water, which in turn was causing the statue to melt. We made sure to eradicate it, however, so there's no need for concern now. Thank you so much. I'm so glad I asked you for assistance. 
This should help to ease everyone's worries too. The statue back to normal, I can finally devote myself to my work again. Or I find it hard to believe that this was all mere coincidence. I'll have to do everything I can to ensure that Saint Veronica is no more reason for tears. Eh, uh, that's reassuring. It may not be much, but please, take this. It's the least I can do for you all. May I just be with you all. I wonder if these hotel managers remember me. Oh, you're all Lord Eustace's classmates, no? I'm afraid you won't find him here, however. He's been awfully busy filling in for Lord Rufus, you see. He's rarely had the time to do much else. Welcome to Hotel Esmeralda. While we remain open for business, we will be subject to inspections conducted by the Provincial Army from time to time. Do take this into consideration before choosing to stay. Alright. A shop here? What? Uh, can't read the map very well. Shoot. Uh, I, get, I guess shop is also for rest areas, even if they don't sell any actual items. The did the tears go away? Yeah, looks like it. Alright, Harrison's... Anywhere I really need to go? Alright, we're cruising this one. Okay, now I have to go to the... Where... Well, I already did a side quest, so I can just go to Noble District, I guess. Wait. Quest? Yeah, I have all the quests. Alright. No, remember, there was this one noble who tried to eat this... Uh, this item we had to find for a quest, and... And then he got sick from it, or something. Was it this guy? Yeah, it was him. Count Gorsier. I hear that Count Richmond has come all the way here from Lamare. Indeed, he seems to be staying at the Esmeralda. <coughs> come to make a profit off our fabulous economy, no doubt. He stands no chance of besting me, I say. After all, I have the backing of the Duke. I can make more investments than he could ever dream of. And as soon he shall be as salty as Lamar's ocean. Master Gordy is enjoying a cup of tea at the moment. If you have no appointment scheduled, I'm afraid I must ask you to leave. There's the provincial army. Yeah, not a good idea to approach them. <clears throat> Let's see. There's the there's a second residence. Any thing interesting here? Uh, home alone. All right, then there goes here. We might as well take a look here. According to Colette, Yusuf should be in there right now, but it's far too dangerous to approach the premises. I'm afraid they would restrain us immediately if they found out we were here. Class seven is more likely to be much higher on the wine list than the other students from fours. I remember fuel say, Irene? The provincial army's guardhouse is here, so it'd be best if we avoid this area. Let's get out of here before they catch us. Yeah, they're probably still not too happy about how we defeated some of their soldiers and guard dogs from back then. Okay. Next, go to... <laughs> it says to go to Central Plaza and t go to the restaurant. Last someone did what they could to find some way to get in contact with Yusus. However, doing so proved to be far easier said than done. Maybe we should try the chess uh, uh, message that uh, Machias did. Nah, 
it wouldn't work because most of the nobles play chess, so they probably figure out easily catch us red-handed. I established he's back home, but beyond that, nothing. It's not going to be easy to get in contact with a son of one of the four great houses. Especially since the Alliance considers us wanted criminals. We're looking to be arrested by the provincial army regardless of how we go about this. There has to be something we can do. This is a hassle we could really do without. Well, we need a plan, and fast. Um... Hello. Can I speak to you all for a moment? Oh, I think I recognize you. Yeah, oh, you're the kids who are reading a book on that bench. You need something from us? Um, well... We've got a message for you from someone. Huh, for us? Right, um... Head to the restaurant in the Central Plaza post haste. That's the message. The restaurant in the Central Plaza? I assume that must be the sorcery? Yeah, it must be. Who gave you this message? Sorry, they asked me not to tell you. Is this some kind of game? Oh, I want to play too. Right, shh. Anyway, that's what all we were told, so bye. That was weird. Thoughts, everyone? You may have come out of the blue, but... I don't believe there was any ill intent behind that message. Maybe in our best interest to do as it says. We're struggling for clues as it is, so any lead is a good lead. Looks like we, we're all agreed. Let's head over to that restaurant. Alright, um... This way... Oh, I see you've all chosen to stop by once again. It seems he was right after all. Who was right? Is it safe to assume you've been left with a message for us too? That's right, I'm not permitted to say who from, unfortunately. Make your way to the airport post haste. I shall await you there. That's all oh, I was asked to tell you all. Our next destination is the airport. They must be having fun dragging us all over the place. Doesn't matter who it's from, we're gonna have to head over there and clear things up. Yeah, let's make sure we're ready before we head out. There's gonna be a lot of back-to-back -back bosses. <clears throat> it's going to be super painful. Anyways, we need to make sure everyone's well equipped for these bosses. Alright, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.